Dear students, please note down. These notes have been uploaded in the description of video. Please download your notes. Dear students, in this lecture of Pinus, I will clear foliage leaf or needle. Dear students, in case of Pinus, the green photosynthetic leaves are needle-like. That's why the plant is Pinus having needle-like leaves. Now down, in our last lectures, we have covered structure of pinus root, structure of pinus stem. And in this lecture, I will clear foliage leaf or needle of pinus. This diagram shows transverse section of needle of pinus or it is a foliage leaf. Dear students, this transverse section shows following parts. First one is this outermost layer, it is epidermis. Not down this outermost layer, it is a single layer which is made up of parenchymatous cells. And this outer layer that is epidermis, which consists of numerous pores or stomata. Dear students, these stomata in case of pinus. These stomata are sunken type, which shows gyrophytic characteristics of pinus. And this stomata in pinus leaf, that is haplocalic type. Not down competitive exam students, this stomata in case of pinus leaf, it is haplocalic. It means the initial cells, which give rise one, two guard cells. Dear students, in case of pinus leaf, the stomata is haplocalic. It means the initial cells give rise to guard cells. One, two guard cells. But this stomata also consists of subsidiary cells. And these subsidiary cells, which are modifications of adjacent epidermal cells, as well as in this stomata, there is a substomatal cavity, a chamber is there. This entire apparatus in which this aperture stomata, these additional subsidiary cells and the guard cells collectively constitute a stomatal apparatus. Dear students, just below this stomata, a chamber, air cavity is there. It is substomatal air cavity or chamber. These stomata are sunken type which prevents the excessive loss of water because the plant is gyrophytic. This epidermis, it is well covered by a thick cuticle that again checks water loss. Just below this epidermis, the second part of this needle that is hypodermis first part that is epidermis below this epidermis is outermost layer this second part it is hypodermis not down hypodermis that is two to three layered and this hypodermis consists of saccharine chymatous cells and this hypodermis provides mechanical spot to the leaf. Third part is that is mesophyll. Not down this mesophyll, which consists of cells, and the mesophyll cells are arranged in horizontal layers. Not down in these mesophyll cells, discoidal chloroplast is there. Here, not down in these cells, mesophyll cells. These are parenchymatous cells. And these mesophyll cells and this entire mesophyll, there is no differentiation of palisade and spongy parenchyma. This mesophyll consists of regin secreting canals. And in these mesophyll cells, the chloroplast that is discoidal type. Next part is 
endodermis. Again, endodermis, it is a single layer. And this endodermis consists of parenchymatases. And in the radial wall, in the lateral wall, tangential wall of this endodermis, Casparian strips are there, which act as biological barriers, jack post. Then the next part is pericycle. Very important this pericycle. And this pericycle, it is multi-layered. Now down this pericycle. Here, in this pericycle, one, two, three types of cells are there. Here, in pericycle, which is multi-layered in case of pinus needle, three types of cells are there. One is parenchymatases. And dear students, these parenchymate cells of this pericycle are filled with starch grease. Second type of cells are albuminous cells of pericycle. These albuminous cells are rich in proteins and starch grains. While these parenchymate cells are rich in starch grains only, no proteins. While in these albuminous cells, starch grains as well as protein crystals are there. And third type of cells in this pericycle, these are tracheidal cells. And dear students, these tracheidal cells, which are lignified cells having bordered pits. Very important, very important of this pinus needle that is vascular bundle. Now down in this pinus needle, foliage leaf, photosynthetic green leaf. One, two. Generally, two vascular bundles are there. Dear students, now down in this pinus needle, in this leaf, generally two vascular bundles are there. But on the basis of different species of pinus, the vascular bundles may be one or more in number. This vascular bundle, not down competitive exam students, this vascular bundle, it is conjoint, means both phloem and xylem are present together. These are, the bundle is collateral. Both phloem and xylem are present on same radius. This vascular bundle is open. It means between this phloem and xylem, a cambium, a dividing tissue, meristematic tissue is there. It means the vascular bundle is open. Open means secondary growth occurs in vascular bundle only. Due to presence of this cambium between phloem and xylem, a dividing tissue, meristematic tissue is there. This vascular bundle undergoes secondary growth. And due to development of secondary growth, the metagylum crashes the protogylum. This metagylum, which lies towards outer side, and this protogylum faces towards center. So the vascular bundle, it is endark. This is all about transverse section of needle or a foliage leaf or pinus. Dear students, this entire structure is having following parts. This outermost layer, it is epidermis and this epidermis consists of haplocalic type of stomata. The stomata are sunken type that shows xerophytic characteristics of pinus tree. Just below this epidermis, two to three layered hypodermis is there and that hypodermis consists of saccharine chymatous cells which provides mechanical strength then this mesophyll it this mesophyll having mesophyll cells which get arranged in layers horizontal layers are there and in these mesophyll cells the chloroplast is disquieted as well as in this mesophyll Ragin secreting canals are there. Not down. Next part is endodermis. And that endodermis, it is single layered. And in, in 
endodermal walls Casparian strips are present which act as biological barrier, check post, polis post. This pericycle it is multilayered and in this pericycle three types of cells. One is parenchymate cells which are rich in starch greens only. Second type of cells are albuminous and these albuminous cells are rich in starch green as well as proteins. And dear student, third type of cells are tracheidal cells. And these tracheidal cells are lignified cells having bordered pits. Vascular bundles generally two in number and the vascular bundles are conjoined. Both xylem and phloem are present together. Collateral means both xylem phloem are present on same radius. There is a cameum present between this phloem and xylem. So it is open type and dear student protoxylum faces towards center. So it is endar. 